And here we are. Everybody, welcome back to episode three of Texas Franchise. Hope you all are good. I am because, well, if you didn't watch episode two, I highly recommend you guys go watch that right now because there's going to be a spoiler in three, two, one, 24 17 as we got our first win of the series. So we're on quite a high right now. And let's try to keep that momentum going here into week three where we got the 0 and 2 Chicago Bears, whose ratings are actually very similar to us. So could be a good game and our performance was so good we got ourselves a weekly award winner and it is of course Derek Stingley Jr our number three overall pick who got himself four tackles two interceptions on Russell Wilson that also both went back for tutties baby shout out to Lamar Jackson Jalen Hurts and Danny Trevathan and also now into week three we have our very first mock draft of the year still really early in the year a lot of things can change as we have the projected number one overall pick. I don't know what that's about because I actually have a win already. But it looks like they are mocking me Archer Hall, little outside linebacker here out of USC. 6'3", 254. His ratings are okay. Nothing's too crazy. He's got marginal, decent agility, decent assault, change of direction. Not great. Not great. However, his strength, great to elite. Very good there. And by his skills, don't really got too much right now. Just got tackle, play rec, awareness that are all Bs. So we don't really know yet if he's more of a pass rusher or is he going to be drop and back in coverage. But I guess we'll find out later. Still extremely early in this class as well. Everybody's like 30, 40% scouted. So we don't know too much yet. All right. We also have pick 17, the Browns pick, which is awesome. You know what I really should do? No, 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 no. I'm going to do it. We are going to make Deshaun Watson a normal dev and we're going to make him worse than Jacoby Brissett. So then Jacoby Brissett can start until week 11, which is Deshaun Watson's ban, of course. And then once he gets there, I'll make him back to what he is. Looks like he's a 76 overall still. So let's do short accuracy because it's 90. It's a nice little round number, one that we will remember. And now he's a, I don't want him to be too bad. So then they're going to like release him. But like, let's be like a 68. And he is now the second string quarterback of the Browns. Once it hits week 11, we will make him back to an 85 overall, whatever he was already. But he's got a service ban, you know? And you know what? For the sake of it, I'm going to do Calvin Ridley as well. And for the sake of them not cutting him potentially, I'm just going to make him a 70 overall. He's going to be trash, but next year, we'll bring him back, of course. But going back to my initial thought process, I totally forgot. We had another first round pick from the Browns, of course. That could be decent with Deshaun Watson serving his ban now. So going to be nice. But like I said, still a little early. Once it hits around week 8-ish, we could probably go in depth in this class. However, we do got some regional focus scouting and let's be honest i know what you guys are thinking we do not care it's all done with now don't even worry about it I believe we also have our first contract negotiations here so let's see who's here andy genovich marlin mack who i believe they just cut in real life so yeah see you never marlin confirmed but as for contracts of course we saw yanovich thomas is here camu kruger hill okoronkwo nothing really too crazy here from what i see <laughs> maybe later down the line we get like rasheem green and blake cashman back but that's probably it if i'm being honest with you and then for our game plan goal of course the bears don't got the best squad but they do have some nice little pieces on offense with justin fields david montgomery and of course darnell money however they're currently 32nd in points per game and their passing yards is 20th that's the only good thing they have so i'm gonna do actually only the short passing is good look at the medium passing 16.3 deep passing 28.7 defend short pass then <laughs> and then our offensive game plan the bears always notoriously have a good defense no more cleo mack now but do still got some good players over here i think i'm gonna just do throw it medium though that's kind of my sweet spot and then for our game plan let's do get one interception we've got a young qb here he's gonna make some mistakes so see if we can capitalize and tell you what last week defensively we were really good against the denver broncos playing against russell wilson jerry judy javante williams Let's try to allow 14 points or less here against the Bears. They got a way worse squad, so let's see if the defense can keep going. Offense, I think 300 yards is pretty safe, so I'm cool with that. And then for this one, tell you what, let's do win turnover battle, because I think we may be able to do with this game. And sim away, please, please, no injuries, please. <laughs> and of course, in episode one, I asked, what should I do with Brandon Cooks? And a lot of you guys left your suggestions, so I appreciate you guys for that. And the majority of you guys said i should trade him so i'm just gonna throw him on the trade block for now if we don't like any offers we'll see we'll definitely just make one ourselves but let's see what he can get me and then for some players to upgrade steven nelson desmond king we got jalen peter here Kenyon green as well Derek. of course oh, he's got two two of them things of course for the defensive rookie of the or the defensive player of the week honestly in the afc let's go ahead and throw the first one on slot there plus three man okay and then let's slap the next one on zone he's up to a 79 overall now only plus one zone but i'll take it christian harris who's been my main user throughout this series so far he's honestly been pretty good despite only being 68 overall he's up to 70 now with that temporary boost as well got a lot of good stuff there acceleration plus one for Jalen petrie i think i'm gonna just keep it on hybrid let's keep getting that up he's kind of got low morale right now i don't know why because we just won our first game and he gets 
plus three awareness everything else there's okay <laughs> and i think the rest probably fine with auto upgrading them and of course before we hop into week three let's go ahead and change our playbooks go ahead and slap it on here of course last week we had ourselves offensively the saints and then defensively the cardinals which wasn't too bad you know this time for offense we're gonna get the steelers i'm just gonna change it right now so i don't forget <laughs> and then defensively what are we gonna get ourselves the defensive one doesn't really matter it's more for the offense of course but we're gonna get ourselves the jaguars okay steelers offense and jaguars defense i think we're ready and it's gonna be the toilet bowl man 76 overall versus 76 overall let's go <laughs> and the kickoff is on the way we're gonna be starting with ball first here in chicago tough it's gonna be a tough away game started off with a new rv1 in real life as well dame i don't know what happened to freaking lermy tonsil there third and nine now not the start we wanted however brevin jordan's in some space fit it right in did i have john mech there on the outside no i don't care i'll take 18 yards all day first and 10 here after our first first down can we squeeze that one no davis knows just threw it to narnia and as most of you guys know i usually just choose the plays from coach suggestions i don't go too deep into it um i'm not gonna run the same plays every time of course we do have a play limit as well to limit that so it would just be boring if I ran the same plays every time, you know? And it's more about the storyline. As I said, this team is not good right now. I'm not expected to win. So I'm not going to just abuse the game mechanics, you know? <laughs> it's more of us struggling at the beginning, getting some good draft picks, hitting on those draft picks, improving the team throughout in free agency as well, and just overall making this team better down the line. But for right now, we know it's going to be tough. Hold up, is Nico Collins like hurt or something? What, Chester Rogers is just at the slot? Why? Why, why did that happen? It should be John Mechie. Hello? First and 10 now, let's see if we can, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. it would be nice if anybody would have picked up the Bears, probably best defensive player in Robert Quinn there. Can I squeeze that in? John Mechie is built different. Oh my goodness, what a snack. Go up there and make a play, Mechie. Second and 12 now. Can we squeeze that in for Brevin Jordan? That's a gorgeous ball from Davis Mills. Short for a first down though. Probably four down territory if we do not get this as well on their 12, but blocking looks not great i kind of just ran into that dude man they want me to go for it as well so you know what i will see if we can just rock a double slant here um right there oh that's that was bad that was bad i shouldn't have rolled out like that with davis mills made that a lot more difficult than it was what it should have been Ah, oh, that's that's a tough way to start the first drive. We drove down and then we gave it right away. Like there's literally no reason for me to even roll out here. Like there's no pressure, no nothing. And then like right there, I probably have John Mechie or even Nico Collins. I just, I don't know. I'm I'm dumb. <laughs> Get on the defense though. See what we can do as they run to the left side with Montgomery. Breaks first tackle, goes for a big, big play. And Stingley, the reigning defensive player of the week, is hurt on the very first play. We cannot afford to lose him. Honestly, he's my CB1 right now as well. Looks like a screen pass here. We read it, but they get some good blocking. But Christian Harris gets around them all. Do we get an update on Stingley? No. Second and nine. Kind of open over here on the right side is Montgomery. We get him short of the first down, though. Derek Stingley has a quadricep stain. Huh? Strain. What am I stain? <laughs> yeah, he has a little stain. He can't come back, guys. <laughs> Third and one, I'm very, very, very tempted to guess run middle here. We'll pinch the line. It's most likely going to rerun, but just in case, I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I will be running in with Kirksey, but David Montgomery gets first pretty easily. Looks like a run formation again here. Montgomery is just finding gaps. However, he just did not go in the gap that time. He decided to go on the left side and we get him down. <laughs> this user Jalen Petrie here. We we're manned up against David Montgomery. They've ran the last two times. Looks like a little toss this time. Christian Harris into the backfield immediately. Shot the gap like a madman. Third and 15. Look at him. Look at the man. User Petrie again here on David Montgomery out the backfield. We got good... Who the heck was on Cole Komet? Oh my... Who was on Cole Komet? Hello? <laughs> Who in the world? That dude was as open as you could get. What? Oh, it was me. It was me. My fault. My fault, guys. My fault. My fault. <laughs> Bro, I just thought I was manned against Montgomery again, like the last play. I don't know. My head is just, what in the world happened there? That one is on me. Not the way we wanted to start this game with a big defensive error and a turnover right away. <laughs> John Mechie up to 10 receptions, 215 yards, and two touchdowns already. And my screen is shaking. Phenomenal stuff. First and 10, though. Mechie has some space. Davis Mills puts that thing on the money. It's a big first down. 20 yards. Watch the blitz from that DB on the right side. Looks like we're going to get him. I don't know his icon. Brandon Cooks. 
Oh my god, what a snack. That was like DPI, but it doesn't matter. Brandon Cooks is different, but he is on the trade block. <laughs> but you know what? Hopefully he can perform well, get that trade value up, maybe get me a first, second round pick. That would be very nice. Second and five, handing this one off to Damian Pierce again. I was just hoping Farrell Brown could get a better block than that, man. Third and two now. Can we get Mechie right there? That's a beautiful ball by Davis Mills. Honestly, very tight window there, and he, he did it. He did it. Once again, we find ourselves into the red zone. Hopefully, just no dumb mistakes from me this time. And Damian Pierce doesn't really get me too much. Five wide here. Let's see what we can do. Brevin Jordan is wide open through the middle. Looks like they blitz me. Can he get in? He does. He reaches for it. Our first touchdown of the game here. Let's go. It's back even. That's if I can make my extra point. Wind was going west very heavily, but it's all good. Hey, two extremely promising drives to start off the game, though. Both times getting into the red zone. One time made a mistake. The other time got me a tutty. And Justin Fields is going deep. Thomas, this is where Stingley should be. And Thomas just gets cooked. If that was Stingley, that probably is a pick with the form he's on, man. Dang. Let's go, man. Blitz again, but this time let's not use our Jalen Petrie. And screw us. Jalen Fields actually read option. Goes for negative four. That's all day. Second and 14 now. Got some slants through the middle. I kind of just left that one. Third and one, and they're actually five wide here. Quite interesting play calling from my boy Eberflus. Can we get some pressure? Make him fumble. Justin Fields fumbles. Rolls out to the right. Goes for the scramble. Ross Blacklock recovers the ball. A little hard cut. Okay, that was the slowest cut I've ever seen, but we'll take it, baby. Justin Fields really just had nowhere to go. Decided to not slide, and we hit that boy all day long. Ball came flying out. We recovered it. Get the O back on the field, man. They're hot right now. Don't watch that cup. Run a little halfback. Draw with Damien. Okay, can't run. Can't run at all this game. Bears front seven is quite nice. Still got Roquan Smith, of course. But let's see if we can get Damien Pierce involved in some... Man, what the heck, man? Third and 13 now has not been great here, however. Oh, my God. I actually didn't even see pressure at all. I was looking at Brandon Cooks that whole time. I think I would have had him, but they just blitzed me. Their linebackers just blitzed me. Yeah, that was <laughs> it's split second. Just very poor awareness from me here. Brandon Cooks had such a nice cut right there, and I was about to send it. And just as you know it, I'm on the ground. Oh, my goodness. I'm all over that. I'm all over that. Steven Nelson. Steven Nelson with another, or no, that's our first interception. Spin to the right. Okay, it's two turnovers on back-to-back -back drives. The defense is actually playing really well, even without Derek Singley. So you know what? Let's keep it through the air then. Let's keep it through the air. Mechie, sideline on that little corner. That was, that was a thing of you, right? Mechie is feasting this game. Why are you challenging? That might have been the most pointless challenge of all time. I won't even lie with you. Um, Right through the middle there for Nico Collins. Big reception. It's another first. Onto the 30 now. Mechie again. Oh my god. Mechie is unbelievable. He is having some game already. 104 yards on five receptions in the first half. Oh my goodness. We need to get that man up to start at. He definitely deserves it. Get some good blocking for once. Damian Pierce gets me about nine. Second and one. Let's try to get into the end zone with this one. I'm just going to feed Damian Pierce. He should be able to get me in. And it's the second touchdown of the game. Yo, we're doing really well on both offense and defense right now. If it wasn't for me being stupid with Jalen Petrie, it'd be 14 nil. <laughs> defense back on the field. And on the last two drives, it's been two takeaways for the squad. So, see if we can keep that going, Christian Harris. Woo just saw the check down there just a little too late. We got this slant covered. The whole middle is covered. Justin Fields throws a prayer up. And it somehow gets through. How did nobody react to that any quicker? Hello? I swear we had like four DBs just running around looking like lost puppies there. But you know what? Whatever. Play action here. I can already tell, baby. We can already tell. Oh, I thought that could have been a pick for Desmond King, you know. This is also the battle of the 2021 rookie quarterbacks. Or not rookie quarterbacks. Yeah. That was, that was bad. That was bad. Darno Money is killing me already. He's up to like 100 yards. Gets himself a touchdown now. We had a good game, though. We had a good game. Of course, Davis Mills versus Justin Fields. I'm for it. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in the first half here. Let's see if we can take some time off the clock, get the last score of the first half, and then go to the second half. They're going to start with ball as well. So let's see if we can get the last laugh here in the first half. You know what I mean. They're blitzing again. Hello. This time we saw the blitz. Yes, it's a throw and a sack under pressure and all that. However, d d d yeah, d d Damien Pierce. Hello. He could have caught that with his freaking face mask, bro. Hey, <laughs> what are you 
doing, man? Oh, hopefully we can waste clock and get the last score of the half. Let's see if we can actually drive down the freaking field first, bro. Brevin Jordan, big gain, though, on the third and four. Let's go. Gets me to about midfield. 206 yards already for Davis Mills. Dude, Brandon Cooks is so old. Try it! What do I do? What do I do there? Brandon Cooks did not have a player on him. And Davis Mills just missed. Davis Mills literally just missed. Oh my god, they're getting they're just blitzing me, man. I, I had the flat there wide open. That's on me, but I, I just panicked. <laughs> yes! Yes! Now it's a third and ten, yes! and oh my goodness. I need to just I need to just look at the flat because they are just setting the house every single time. And you know what? It's working. If I just hit Damian Pierce here, it's a massive gain and an easy first down, man. Look at this. They're just blitzing everybody. Three receptions, 109 yards, and already a touchdown for Darnell Money. He thinks he, he thinks he's John Medji, man. Would love a stop here. If Chicago gets some momentum going to the second half, could be bad for us. Could be bad for us. Flat, it's wide open. Justin Fields, I need to learn from you. <laughs> second and three. Nothing's really open here. We got good pressure as well. No way. Oh, my God. These lofty balls. I feel like we should be making a play on them. We, we just can't do anything. We can't even get near the ball. However, third and three. Now let's go ahead and use her, Mr. Christian Harris. They're five wide as well. Let's see if we can do it. If we can stop here, could be nice. I'm kind of on that. Throws it deep. That's got to be out of bounds. I'm just going to try to swat it. And Thomas does a good job there. We'll take it. It's scary, man. The Bears, they know. They know Derek Stingley's out for the game. And they are targeting my boy Thomas over there on the left side on the boundary. Is there any chance I drive down here and have a chance to get a field goal in 46 seconds? I guess we'll find out. I guess we will find out. Let's just hit Brandon Cooks here. Go out of bounds as well. Let's get as most yards as possible, though. Second and two now. Mechie. Mechie, you can still make that play. Oh, my God. Brandon Cooks, give me a block. You're not catching John Mechie. You are not catching John Mechie. <laughs> oh, my God. What was that play? John Mechie was open initially, and it just got tipped right up. John Mechie had all the time in the world to sit there, catch the ball, and run it for, what was that, 70, 60 yards? Justin Fields is trouble. He is troubled. Oh, we can't even we can't even rewind and see what happened. But all you know is if John Mechie's in this situation, you ain't catching it. Hey, 21 points in the first half, huh? Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. Jesus. <laughs> do the Bears feel like they can drive down and get three points? They do. They do. I'm going to get on Montgomery here. Murray. Murray. It's a pick. Oh, my God. I am going to be the one that's going to hopefully get three points here. Justin Fields just threw that one up. Receiver was nowhere in sight. And Murray said thank you very much. Only 16 seconds to go here. We got to get something going. I might. No, I wanted it. Oh, and I get sacked. And I get sacked. That was dumb. That was. I wanted to just heave it to either Brandon Cooks or Nico Collins, but the safety dropped back in coverage there, which of course they're going to do. There's like 10 seconds left. So, yeah. <laughs> Third and 22 now. Likely the last play of the half here. And, you know, it goes nowhere. I'm fine with that, honestly. Whatever. <laughs> and the start of the second half is on the way. David Montgomery somehow gets through there, gets some five yards. Third and five now. Got everything covered here. No pressure, unfortunately. David Montgomery goes out of bounds just short of the first down. And no way, no way they go for it on their own 34. Going to be punting again. Another good three and out from the defense. Arnold? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I thought it was going to be roughing. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't. Hold up, bro. John. Oh, he was open there. I wish I led him a little more to the right because he did get separation. John Mechie's made that catch a few times already in this game, so we'll just kind of trust him there. He does drop it, unfortunately. Second and 10 now. Let's get a little run here to Damian Pierce. We get some good blocking there. We'll take those. We'll take those. Third and three now. Chest or Philip Dorsett. Thank you for making that catch. That's a great catch, honestly. Let's go. That was scary, man. I saw the pressure coming. I saw the pressure coming. I think I had Brevin Jordan maybe over the top potentially. Oh, my God. Give me some good blocking. You're Damian Pierce bursting out. Love to see it first down. He's picking it up now. 61 yards now. Now, 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 now. First and 10. Mechi open. Oh, my God. Honestly, could have been a pick. He was quite open there. Was way too late to find him. Third and eight. Running some PA crossovers here. Brandon Cooks over the top. Very, very, very risky. Very risky. If we could have got a little more power in that, I feel like Brandon Cooks actually got in behind there, unfortunately. Drops the ball there. We had a few bad drops there, but five wide here. They're getting quite aggressive, I see. And they are down seven, but still a lot of time left in this game. A lot of things can happen, all right? They're just going deep here, aren't they? Justin Fields throws to absolutely nobody. <laughs> Second and ten. Five wide again here. I kind of 
Justin Fields looking to scramble out the last time he came out. He fumbled third and six. We're manned up on the running back. I need to lock that in my head so I don't forget, and I'm all over it. I'm all over Justin Fields is just... I think he's seeing their sideline. He's just trying to throw to them the whole time. It's another three now. We'll take the ball right back. Need to get me some points here to get our lead. A little bit of a cushion, you know. It's still a one-possession game. Arnold is getting in behind. I'm, I'm scared I'm going to get rough in the punter. First and ten pressure. Pressure's just there immediately. Yeah, they, they list everybody, all right. If he did, oh my god, that is the worst pass I've ever seen. <laughs> Why? Third and ten again now. Has not been great. Brandon Cooks. Oh my god, what a play from 45. Literally did it blind. He's got eyes on the back of his head, and he just puts up an arm like he's Kawhi Leonard and just freaking does it without even looking, man. But okay. Thought we had him over the top there. We go three and out. Pretty, pretty disappointing. First and ten now. Feeling a run here. They're running to the right side. Christian Harris is there. Shouldn't have went for the hit stick. Steven Nelson just getting blocked out of his mind. <laughs> safe tackle there. Just safe tackle there, man. Conservative. Not everything has to be flashy, you know? Not everything has to be flashy. Justin Fields wants to scramble out. We get our first sack of the game. 51. Is my boy Kruger Hill. I'm still learning jersey numbers, all right? <laughs> this game right now is just who can blitz more. They're blitzing me. We're blitzing them. Right now, we, t we are in the lead, so it's looking good. But that is a nice little play from Justin Fields there. Does he get enough for a first? He does. Wow. I'm tempted to guess run right. I should have done it. I should have done it. I should have done it. Jesus. A little jet touch pass potentially. Nope, it's a fake to Montgomery. Petrie gets into the box. Give me, give me a hold. Give me a hold. Ref, the bag will be delivered to you afterwards. Second and 15, they're five wide once again here. Justin Fields, what can you cook up? That was so wildly inaccurate, but it worked. It's just unfortunate. I did not mean to use a Ross Blacklock. I don't know why I didn't rush there. Thomas, should have been a pick. Should have been a pick. I went for the swat there. I don't know why. That could have potentially been a pick six as well. Had momentum running downhill. Kind of dumb. Kind of dumb for me to swat that. I'm just so used to it now because every time I feel like I go for a pick, I just get mossed. Arnold, my goodness, he gets through. First and 10 now has been very stale here in this second half. Brandon Cook, that is an absolute gorgeous ball by Davis Mills on the sideline. In between two defenders like that, that had everything. <laughs> Dumped this one off to Brevin Jordan there. We didn't really have too much open. Brevin Jordan's going to give me a good eight, nine yards. Davis Mills up to 316. Shout out Stone Code Steve Austin. I was going to say Steve, and then I said Stone, and I ended up saying Stone Code Steve Austin. <laughs> Whatever. Y'all know what I mean, though. Damian Pierce, what are you? Third and I probably shouldn't be passing here, but the, the run hasn't. Ah, I'm auto being to a run. We, it's third inches. Let's feed Damian Pierce. Let's feed RB1. If he doesn't give me this first down, what is he going to give me? You know what I mean? Good blocking, boys. Let's go. Nico Collins right through the middle there. Very nice completion. And right at the end of the third quarter, final play most likely. They are blitzing me. Damien Pierce open with blockers in the outfield. Hard cut in. Good yard. Is oh my god, are you good? Fourth quarter on its way now. And guys, this has been an unbelievable offensive display. Like, the boys are just clicking on all cylinders. 71. Mm, I'm just going to hit Brevin Jordan. We're probably going to get a holding anyway. All right, ref, your money that I was going to give you. No more. No more. Ah, yes. Second and very long now. Let's see if we can find Brandon Cooks over the top here. Would be would be amazing. I'm tempted to throw it, and I'm just too late. And I just... Potential grounding. Awesome. I don't know why I pressed that. I I'll be honest. I don't know why. It's going to be third and 32 now, though. On a great drive that is just getting absolutely killed by penalties and stupidity. <laughs> Let's streak Brandon Cooks. I'm going to look for Nico Collins as well. If he gets a one-on-one -on -one matchup there, I will not hesitate to heave that thing up and let him make up. And it's just throw out a sack, bro. Oh, my God. So it comes up so short. And I think Jalen Johnson there with an interception, the second on the day for the Bears. That's just frustrating. I just wanted to give uh, Nico Collins a chance there. And we, we just couldn't even get it away. Couldn't even get it away. So... Very tough. First and 10 now. Bears offense back on the field, but they have been held to a stalemate as well in the second half. So as long as the defense can keep going here, we'll be fine. And Mooney just completely evades the first tackle. Second and seven now. Lined up in man. They're another read option for Justin Fields. We get him down this time, thankfully. Shout out to Christian Kirksey. Good read. And a big, big, big third and 10 now we need a stop here because if they get this first they're probably going to be in field goal range as well we got pretty much everything covered justin fields is actually going to take it out and slide only get some three yards they're kicking the ball back it's been freaking 
stinker of a second half, I won't lie. 35 points in the first half and none yet in the second. We're driving down, we're getting good yardage. We just keep choking at the end there for, for um, which sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at John Med. Did he actually get over the top? Try to focus that whole time. It was a little risky. We may have been. Uh, we might have had him. It depends on Davis Mills' throw power. And it's not great. <laughs> Do I see him? Do I freaking see him? John. Oh my. Second and five. Let's run on the right side here. Yanovich with a great block. Damien Pierce gets me a first. Another first down for the boys. Just going to hit Damien Pierce quick here. Might have had Brevin Jordan open there, but we'll take 10. Make that nine. Second and one inside zone here for Damien Pierce. Doesn't get me in. Doesn't get me in. Third and one now. Might be four down territory. We'll have to see about that one. John Mechie through the middle. Open again. He has been unbelievable today. Big first down. Davis Mills is going to get 400. Hopefully he gets 400 yards. <laughs> I just jinxed it. I just jinxed it. First and 10 now. Did I jinx it? Oh my god, Nico Collins. That's a great catch. It was very contested as well. We're on a bit of trickery here. John Mechie on the jet sweep. Good block from Brevin Jordan. And John Mechie in space is an absolute nightmare for the Chicago Bears defense. First and 10. Let's lob this one up to Damian Pierce. Getting some blockers outside. And they do absolutely nothing. I know I kind of ran ahead of them. But man, they were out there. <laughs> Second and 6 now. That is amazing blocking. Can Pierce truck his way through? At least give me a first. He just tough third and inches now gonna motion my boy quatoriano who i believe was a seventh round pick out of oregon state shout out to the beavers can we get him that's why he was a seventh round pick that right there is why he was a seventh round pick oh my, I'm, he was wide open he was wide open in the end zone and he just Bricks off his hand, bro. Okay, okay. I, I pro. Oh no, I just called a timeout. I just called. <laughs> bro, I pressed pause and went down one to go to instant replay. Are you kidding me right now? And we couldn't have even reviewed it anyway. Oh my god. That could be a crucial timeout, you know? And now it's three picks for Davis Mills. That one, not his fault at all, man. You've got to be kidding me. But what I can say is this game is going to be on us. Two minute drive all we need is a field goal kill clock and we're good so this drive it's all down to us right we can't blame anything oh i can't blame quatoriano kind of like you guys just saw what freaking happened right first and ten though let's get things going what can we have damian pierce truck him we'll take it two minute warning it's gonna be holding we're gonna get a holding bro no freak this ref is killing me now ever since i said i was gonna give him money he is killing me Army Tunsil back to a second and 13, all the way on the 20. Mechie, Mechie through the middle. Nico Collins, I needed you to block there. Mechie gets me the first though. That is massive. He has been so good in 405 yards now for Davis Mills. Unbelievable performance. I believe that was 450 yards on the offense as well. Wow. Wow, wow, and wow. Mechie again. Mechie again. Oh my God, he's good. That boy's good, and we're in field goal range now. We are in field goal range. That didn't even clock in my head. What a freaking throw to make. Good anticipation. Great, great route. Once again by John Mechie. I could have said that a million times. Now we just got to play conservative. Should have hard cut there, but Damian Dave Pierce still does his thing. Bears wasting their timeouts now, of course. We just need a first down. First down here kills the game. Good blocking. Great fuck. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Great, great freaking block, and that's what I was going to say. Trust me. <laughs> First and 10 here. Not going to do anything stupid. We're just going to play this one out. They're out of timeouts now. Two clock. Let's run it down. Let's get the W through. And I will wait for the clock now. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, we'll leave it to the last. Like, I'm like that. Giving them no all Madden cheese because we know we know what the TPU can do, man, in, in little to no time. And ladies and gentlemen, from about 30 yards out, three mile per hour wind going to the west. Can Kaimi Fairbairn give me and give us our second win of the season to get our record to a two in one? We do. We come away victorious in Chicago. A great win, a tough place to play, and honestly, a great game with the two sophomore quarterbacks in Davis Mills and Justin Fields. But guess what? Davis Mills comes away on top, baby. And what a game he had. Arguably player of the game.
Let's check out some stats and what a game it was for Davis Mills. He went 28 for 45. He threw the ball a ton that game, but we also racked up 436 yards through the air, three touchdowns and then three picks. Some of those were unfortunate. The first one, definitely my fault. That third one, no shot. No shot, bro. Justin Fields, 13 for 22. Didn't throw that much. 246 yards, two touchdowns, two picks for him. Damian Pierce has been a workhorse for us. 24 carries, 97 yards. Gets himself four carry. Montgomery was actually really good. Shout out to Mechi with a 14-yard carry. We're still looking for Damian Pierce's first rushing touchdown, though. Just haven't been able to get good opportunities. Oh, my God. I didn't even realize he went that crazy. John Mechi, nine receptions, 238 yards, and got himself a touchdown. Run after catch at 70. His longest one was 69 yards. Very nice there, John Mechie. He was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Damian Pierce got a lot of ca or a lot of catches as well. Got himself a touchdown too. Brevin Jordan as well. 66 reception or not receptions. Yards for him. Darnell Money was really good. 120 yards on four receptions. Nico Collins only three receptions. And then Brandon Cooks, man. He really doesn't get targeted too much. So, like you guys said, you guys want me to trade him. And honestly, I wouldn't mind it. Because honestly, he's not even getting that too involved right now. It's really John Mechie, Damian Pierce, and Brevin Jordan. And then defensively, Christian Harris led the way for tackles for us. Tackle for losses. Christian Kirksey had himself two. Kruger Hero and Christian Harris with one themselves. One, only one sack that game for us. And it went from Kruger Hero, number 51. I'll remember that. Eric Murray, Steven Nelson with the interceptions. And of course, Derek Stingley did get hurt. So, let's go find out how long that could be. We unfortunately didn't get too Two of our goals there, which was one, win the turnover battle, and then the other one, allow 14 or less points. I would have had that if my third string tight end didn't one drop the ball in the end zone, which resulted in win turnover battle for that to be even, and then that allowed them to run it all the way back for a pick six and get 20, get over 14 points. I would have got the both of them. But before we wrap up the episode, let's go to the injury report where Derek Stingley is not here he just couldn't finish out the game but luckily for us no other time lost for him thank god however that is going to be the end of episode three of texans franchise hope you guys enjoyed that one as we did get to see some good offense being played in the battle of justin fields and davis mills and we came away victorious with our second w of the season so you'd love to see it next week is going to be um probably a tougher matchup against the chargers they got quite a better squad than the bears i'd say but should be a good one nonetheless next episode should be good we're going to find out What's going to happen with Brandon Cooks? Will we get some trade offers for him? And you know what? Maybe I'll trade for a player myself to improve this team a little bit. Find out on the next episode. If you guys didn't make it here, I appreciate you. Comment down below because I want to know who you are. Leave this video a like as well. And take care, boys. Peace.